hi it's friday november 16th and i'm blogging to you live or not live but i am blogging blogging to you from ellen's room because we're leaving for a concert in like 20 minutes we might not be going it's amanda palmer and we didn't technically buy the tickets because there was like a nine dollar processing fee for each ticket and we decided to just buy them um at the place but then we ended up not having time to go buy them until the day of the concert so we'll see what happens they should still be available if not, we'll get Panera. And Tara's coming, so it's going to be awesome. So, um, okay, first of all, I have a lot of anthropology feels. I'm just going to respond to your video. I want all of the clothes. I want all of the website. And in an ideal world, I will become a responsible adult, and I'll have money, and I'll spend every cent of that money at anthropology. It will be the only thing in my wardrobe, and it will be beautiful. Um, also... <laughs> <laughs> you said that you thought Nano was going well for us. <laughs> I have like 10,000 words, 11,000 words, I think. <laughs> so it's going awesome. It's going to be fun. Yeah, everything's going to be fun. Also, if you're going to a community college, um, I, I just hope you know that I will be severely disappointed in you if your life does not turn out exactly like community, except, you know, like with you being Annie, obviously. Um, you have to collect yourself a band of misfits, and there has to be exactly eight, and each of them has to correspond very well to the characters in Community. Otherwise, I would be very disappointed. But I'll still love you, because I'll always love you. Um, oh yeah, I have like two other things to talk about, I guess. Um, first of all, the Motion City soundtrack concert was really good, but also like super depressing because I just spent the whole time being like, I'm alone and Mary should be here right now and I'm just really sad. So it was a very mixed feelings event because half of it was like, I love this band and half of it was like, I love Mary Ricker, I'm so lonely. So it was weird. And then after that I got to go to the write-in and I showed up at like midnight and I was like, sup guys? And it was good times. Um. So that happened. Also at one point, because I was like in the second row again, but kind of at the corner of the stage. So I was like five feet away from the guitarist guy. And he kept making eye contact with people. Like that was his favorite thing to do was just to like look at people and wink at them and stuff. So he winked at me at one point and I got really embarrassed. And I like stared at the ground for 10 minutes. <laughs> Because I don't like it when people make eye contact with me. That's uncomfortable. Um, what human contact? Don't be dumb. Um, so that happened. And so I've been going to so many concerts this semester. I don't even know what's up with that. I don't mind, but I don't know what's up with that. Um, so also, I, Ellen was texting me about what she was thinking of wearing to the concert. And she was like... I'm thinking of wearing my sequin Vince Noir jacket and my corset. Do you think that would be a good idea? And I was like, man, as long as you're going to be comfortable, I don't really care. It's kind of cold outside. I'm going to wear like a sweater or something. And this illustrates the difference between our personalities. When we went to the Mountain Goats concert, I wore a sweater, like a sweater sweater, with a cardigan over it and I took my cardigan off at one point because I got kind of toasty and I gave it to Ellen to put in her purse and she looked at the cardigan and she was like you're wearing a sweater to a concert and I was like no I'm wearing to I'm a good person okay so there's like a minute left in this video so I'm gonna tell you a really good story about one time I looked out my window this is gonna make you feel really good about your intelligence I looked out a window and I saw the biggest car I'd ever seen in my entire life. It was white, but it was like way bigger than a limo. It was whiter than a limo. And it wasn't even the size of a Hummer limo. Like it was a massive freaking car. And I was just sitting there staring at it. It was a red light. And I was just staring at it for like two minutes. Like this is the largest car I've seen in my entire life. It was a bus. It was a bus. So that's what's going on in my life. I'm not going to edit this at all. I'm just going to put it right on YouTube and you can deal. Um, okay, love you. Bye. Stop.